When they're doing their weekday walks to and from school, kids aren't just getting some exercise and fresh air. On their way there and back, some are also taking in junk food ads and takeaways all around them. And how did those picking children up at school in Edinburgh earlier feel about that? Everybody likes a treat now and again, don't you, dear? So you have no bother with a wee one kind of seeing some advertising? <sighs> well, actually seeing it, how do you stop them seeing it? This is a thing. You're off to McDonald's. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is that a treat or is that not? It's a treat, just treat. treats. Yeah. Now, a report by the Royal Society for Public Health says the routes which children walk to and from school should be free of junk food outlets and advertising as a way of trying to tackle childhood obesity. It might be difficult to remove fast food takeaways from being close to schools, but how about you just restrict the hours that they're allowed to sell fast food to unaccompanied teenagers? It's those sorts of practical, realistic steps we are going to shift the dial on this issue. The Royal Society also says discounts on food offered to pupils should be stopped. This takeaway just metres away from one school in Edinburgh is used to parents and their kids stopping by for food and the owner says it isn't fair to blame businesses. The odd little treat, that's a Friday treat, they know the children it's a treat on a Friday because the parents are with them. So it's not us that are forcing it down them with a big sign, cheap lunch deals for children or anything like that, we don't have anything like that. I think it's all to do with what they see, adverts on television, it's all a build-up, it's not all to blame the takeaways. Both the Scottish and UK government have set out plans to halve childhood obesity by 2030. Today's call is part of a wider conversation about how to tackle the issue. Whatever the solution may be, what kids are eating during lunch breaks and after school is no longer an afterthought. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Edinburgh.